do you want some of the people to go away, or um, does fine, everybody need to be yeah, here? They're all friends. So okay, no problem. I don't care. No, I know you don't care. People really want to know what Huawei's doing, so let's remember that and okay. uh, give them that, that energy. Yeah. You know, that we're, we're happy to share that. Okay, you know. yeah, we are. And you saw the questions? Yep. Okay, I changed them all. No, don't <laughs> worry. No, I'm kidding. Can you tell me what uh, Huawei's overall strategy is for intellectual property development? Uh, the Huawei IP strategy is always to support our business. And our core business is to uh, deliver the best products and services to our customers. Maybe in the recent years, there's a little bit of a change because as the company grows, uh, some of our products and services are not just for ourselves. Uh, they're, they're becoming part of a bigger ecosystem. So uh, maybe a part of our IP strategy will uh, also extend to protect the ecosystem that we belong to. What do, what do you mean by ecosystem? For example, we're building our own uh, device operating systems um, and we're building our computing systems uh, where other developers will build their applications on top of our device operating systems or our computing systems so uh, you know there are new uh, ecosystems growing yeah, yeah. on top of our products. Uh, I know that uh, you are uh, patenting some AI technology but AI is a little bit different isn't it to it is. say a technology like 5G I mean, it's a little bit more abstract, uh, and I think the sort of the patent law may be in some ways right. not uh, may not have caught up with uh, with the nature of AI. Do you agree with that? And I, I agree it? in yeah. totality. I, I agree. Um, when it comes to AI, uh, it goes beyond the patents. Uh, so we actually uh, have to think more about copyright, for example. You know, mm. other forms of intellectual property. Mm. We are. Uh, the uh, the content would become relevant because if you are training large uh, language models or you know other all kinds of models, and uh, you know you need a uh, you need a content, you need substance. Uh, so I, I think it's uh, uh, and traditionally the, the the patents are used to per, per, uh, per, uh, protect the hardware, the structures, mm -hmm. and so they are not a. Uh, sometimes they can use be to be used to protect the software, but uh, uh, they have limitations. And when it comes to AI, there isn't much uh, so even software code to protect uh, because much of the thing are you know just ways. You know they're just they're, they're just data. Uh, I think actually our industry are still exploring the best way uh, to protect or incentivize uh, the AI. Uh, so to say, technology or business. Mm. I mean, it seems extremely complicated uh, and challenging, very abstract. I mean, is Huawei going to license its patents to make money from AI? Um, right now, no. Uh, but you know, when we say AI patents, uh, the purposes of these patents are not for really licensing for money, and so they are probably uh, already uh, open sourced. Mm. Uh, so they are uh, mean to protect the ecosystem. If, if somebody will come in and want to copy, co copycat your whole ecosystem, then these patterns would be, could be used to, to defend yourself. Yeah, uh, but uh, otherwise, you know, whoever wants to be part of the ecosystem, wants to do their business within the ecosystem, uh, they're free to use, yeah. like uh, open source. Um, last year, you published 37,000 Patents, that's an extraordinary number, isn't it? I mean, how many of those are uh, contributions from outside of Huawei and how many of them are internally developed? Uh, I think a very small portion mm. of our patents are results from uh, corporations. Uh, you know, we, we do have uh, uh, corporations with universities, mm. uh, but uh, uh, it's just a small part of our uh, of our patenting. So our patent, the majority of the 37,000 is still to protect either the, our products or uh, some of these standards uh, or ecosystems. Mm -hmm. um, so these are mostly home-made, mm -hmm. uh, home-originated patents. What's the biggest challenge for you uh, in terms of maintaining uh, your patent portfolio? Right now, uh, the, I, I think the biggest challenge is uh, as the company and you know comes into some of these areas that we are becoming the leader of the market, and other companies would uh, would follow and want to copycat mm. your technology. So yeah. uh, you know where, wherever you are doing great, wherever you are doing best, then they will you know um, uh, come and uh, uh, wanting to 
uh, you know, make a replicate products uh, mm -hmm. so that they can uh, somehow take some of the market share. So I think that's uh, where the challenge is because we're really doing well in some of these areas. Not all of them, I would say, mm -hmm. but uh, in many areas that we're doing very well. Uh, yeah. it, makes it, of, uh, it makes innovation. you a target when you do well. Exactly. A philosophical point here. Uh, we're living in a time of great uh, change in society around the world and also a lot of geopolitical conflict. But the uh, IP and the patent industry still seems to operate as a sort of peaceable kingdom. You know, you may have uh, terrible uh, conflicts going on between different countries, yeah. but the representatives of the patent community still talk to each other, don't they? Yeah, and they yeah, still yeah. exchange information. Yeah. Is, is that, that, that hasn't changed at all? That's still the way? You know, when it comes to patenting, uh, especially between uh, larger companies, uh, there is a professional circle where people really know each other and talk to each other. So generally, they have to respect each other. Mm -hmm. uh, otherwise, uh, uh, they would be an outlier. If you are a, you know, managing an IP business, you better respect IP. Otherwise, yeah. you would uh, not be doing this for long. So yeah. I, I think you know, there's a general uh, you know, uh, under common understanding that uh, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we have to operate based on principles based on roles of intellectual property instead of uh, you know trying to always trying to resolve things issues uh, through uh, politics because mm -hmm. when it comes to politics and um, you know it's also should be known as kind of a bias so because why why don't you just uh, uh, talk to the judge talk to the court mm -hmm. resolving the dispute so you know it's it's, it's not the it's there's a rule there so yeah. I think it's, uh, it's important for the professionals in this circle to uh, somehow uh, you know, resolve issues through rules. Absolutely. Huawei has uh, had incredible success over the last few years and congratulations to you personally and to your team Thank you. for playing such a vital role in that success. It's been very exciting to watch. I, I, I can see, uh, you know, I, at the beginning that we were uh, not really focusing on IP, yeah. but uh, the articles you write about IP and write about a company yeah. is getting a lot more uh, sophisticated. So yeah. you're becoming an XP expert. Well, I'm not, a, no, I mean, I don't think I would describe myself as an expert, but I was inspired to file some of my own patents for uh, various ideas. So. Uh, we'll have to talk about that separately. Okay. Yeah. You promise, <laughs> not, promise not to laugh. No. Yeah. <laughs> no, I thought the idea was an amazing idea. It is know, a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. We're not going to tell these people about it. <laughs> no. Thank you, Alan. Okay. Thank Cheers. you.